Now to campaign 2017 and the battle for who will replace the term limited Governor Christie. The crowded field of 11 Democrats and Republicans has been whittled down to two tonight. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer live in our newsroom. Marsha. Well, Maurice, although the New Jersey governor's race will now focus on the two major party candidates, the so-called elephant in the room will be Governor Christie and whether the love-hate relationship voters have with him will affect the outcome in November. There's certainly one person who's hoping to overcome what some call Christie fatigue. Kim Guadano! Excited Republicans packed the West Long Branch headquarters of Lieutenant Governor Kim Guadano as she easily defeated four other candidates to win a place on the November gubernatorial ballot. And now I'll get to say it for the first time. I am so very proud to be our party's nominee. <laughs> Guadano got a boost of sorts from her boss, Chris Christie. He was out of the state some 500 days campaigning for president, and she was acting governor each and every time. But just as Christie giveth, he can taketh away. His low approval ratings and something called Christie fatigue will be something Guadano, a 58-year-old former Monmouth County Sheriff and federal prosecutor, will have to overcome. She's already distancing herself. I'm running for governor based on my values, based on my record, and based on my principles. She'll face Democrat Philip Murphy, whose $20 million infusion of cash into the campaign helped him crush five opponents. Phil Murphy. Murphy, 59, a multimillionaire former executive at Goldman Sachs, has been pushing a progressive platform, also an anti-Christie platform. Four more years of Christie-style politics won't change New Jersey's unfair, unsuccessful, unsustainable course. The Republicans are comparing Murphy to former Democratic Governor John Corzine, who was also a Goldman Sachs bigwig. People all across New Jersey are demanding change. And I am here to change things. One of the biggest issues in New Jersey is always taxes, property taxes, income taxes, and the gas tax. New Jersey voters I spoke to today say they're worried about having to shell out more to live in the Garden State. Live in the newsroom, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Marcia.